Legislative reforms passed today, which aim to bring certain privatized financial entities back under the control of the government. The move targets the Jiang Jingguo Foundation for International Scholarly Exchange and the CTCI Foundation, which were originally founded with public money but later privatized. Legislators say it's time that these groups are once more publicly supervised. The legislature has passed revisions to the Conglomerates Act, enabling the government to take back financial control of certain financial entities within three years by buying up a majority stake of their stocks. The first and foremost target of the reform is the Jiang Jinguo Foundation for International Scholarly Exchange. The foundation offers grants for studies of Chinese culture. Initially, the government gave the foundation 1.4 billion NT dollars, but later the public stake in the foundation fizzled out to less than 40 percent. It was originally the government that stumped up the foundation's capital, but now it's become privately owned. And especially now that the government's stake is less than 50 percent, there's actually no mechanism for public control or supervision, and no way to force financial transparency. Some thought that religious organizations should also have been included in the revisions. There were various different points of view. In the end, we unanimously decided to leave religious organizations out for now. Religious groups were spared this time due to a lack of consensus within the DPP.